Hey, what is good guys? So, as you may have already seen, we are getting a Diablos raid this week, which is pretty much good news because I have been working on my units that should be good for this. Um, as we kind of expected, he's going to be weak to light, he is dark element, and he's going to be weak to light slash, and the rare boss is going to be weak to dark and magic attacks, which would be Garvel. And as we can see here, we have Garvel and El Sorel as the bonus units, but they decided to do something weird this time and, you know, put the FF10 characters as bonus units. Um, I guess they didn't want to have two large bonus units be the same thing twice in a row, but I think they did that before with Raldor. Anyway, I'm not really sure why they did that. Um, but they also, it looks like they added most of the new EX units as bonus units to here, but doesn't seem like they added Rob, which is kind of weird also. So, kind of part of the reason why I bring this up is because what I really was thinking about in the background, if we go here to summons, over the last few weeks I've kind of been trying to decide what to use my select tickets on. We received the UR select tickets, or we can select a, a UR and some UR shards. So those are these tickets right here. I still haven't, I, I probably am gonna go for Raldor with the UR ticket, but in terms of the shards, I, I just didn't feel like really deciding what to use the shards on. I was kind of thinking of using at least one or 200 to use on Rob for EX jobs, but I never even got to that point. So what I wanted to suggest to you guys is I th what I think I decided I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use the shards to power up whoever's going to be the bonus unit for the raid. Not even the, necessarily the bonus, the large bonus, but sort of the second place character. We kind of already know that the new character is probably going to be the large bonus, the best one for the raid. But in terms of actually, you know, being prepared for a raid and not having to pull the new unit, I think this is going to be great. So, for example, Rob would have been the good example for this. I would have put 100 shards into him. But since I've been working on him for the last month, I think he's in pretty good shape to get started with this raid. So, if we go into units here real quick, I kind of bookmark what I think are going to be good units for this raid. And let me just go straight to Rob so you guys can see my Rob. I, he's not really entirely ready yet. I still have to awaken him. Here, I'm just waiting for the souls at the end. I have to kind of work on that. And I kind of just spent two of those tickets where you can select Awakening Prisms or the specific Elemental Fragment of Thought. So he's up to, he's at a good amount there with three and four hundred of those. So with Rob, I'm planning that once I awaken him, I'm going to bring him to 89. I think I'm about a hundred away here from fully maxing him which means that I can definitely use one of those select tickets. But it's been my experience that even an 89 character, as long as you have him maxed out in terms of job level, uh, abilities, and, you know, have a decent vision card, you know, all the works. And as per resonance, of course, just make sure you have the works on him maxed out so that even if you just have him at 89, it could be Rob, it could be anyone else that's a light slasher. Even if you have him at 89, I think he'll definitely be good. If we go into the abilities here real quickly, we should be able to see, I forgot, 30, 37,000 JP saved up. So I should be able to max out most of his stuff here. Uh, but it's it's been in my experience that even if you're level 89, as long as you have bells, I'm pretty sure they won't kick you out of the room. There are some people that are super picky, but I've also seen level 99 rooms where everybody's level 99 and has the character. I've seen those rooms lose. So I think I think it more depends on if you have your character, your unit maxed out. If you have certain abilities turned on and off, you know, you're probably going to see on Reddit or even in the raid rooms themselves, people are going to be suggesting to, you know, disable this and only enable this. And, you know, use Bell's first turn and blah, blah, blah. So, I think that stuff is going to be more important than 
getting your unit all the way to level 99. Of course, that's going to help for sure, but there are other ways to kind of avert that. And I'm probably going to, as you can see, this sword actually, I believe, lowers his defense and agility. So I do have a purple lightning ready somewhere here, a plus four level 40. So I'm going to throw that on him. And actually, it looks like he still has that minus defense, but his agility is a little bit higher with this one. So I think he's going to be good to go for this. In terms of other units, I will definitely... I'm probably going to use El Cerro, if I'm being honest, as my uh, multi-unit. But maybe I'll, I'll try Rob here and there just to see if people kick me out if and stuff like that. But El Sorel does also have an amazing three-hit attack. Uh, I, I believe it's called Drain Rush. Uh, she can also equi equip Triple Trick, so she, that's another three-hit attack that she'll be able to do. So I think El Sorel is definitely designed for this raid, and she's going to be a good one to have if you guys are going to go online with this. And of course, she's going to have the bonus, and Rob will not have the bonus. So obviously, now that I say that, she sounds like a way better choice than Rob. But I do have Rob. I, I'm going to need my own light slash team. And I think this is the first time for a raid that I actually have four units pretty much ready to go. Um, I'm still trying to decide between Vistral and um, Marial here on the right. Um, the only thing with Marial is that she's more of a magic attacker and she is more of a defensive unit. So she's a spellblade. She has Thief and Calculator uh, Arithmetic. So she might still be good for that, but honestly, it's kind of sounding like one of the other physical attackers is going to be good here. Uh, but we should all have Cecil. Hopefully you guys have him to at least 79 or 89, but he definitely does have a two hit attack. So that's going to definitely help with the chains and it's going to stay on element and on attack uh, type. So it's going to be a light slash attack. And that's going to be super helpful. Even if you don't have El Sorel, you should be able to use Celso without a problem. If you have Thancred, he's another really good one. Um, one of his first two basic attacks is a light slash two hit attack. So he's also going to be pretty good. And I don't think people will kick you out for him. So there's definitely some pretty good options here. Um, and that, that kind of what has me pretty excited about uh, being able to solo this raid to like level 99 because we do have some really good options in terms of multi-hit attacks and then being light slash. Another good one is Ramza. I believe he does have a three-hit attack, so he's going to be really good. I wish I had him. Next time I will pull hard next time he is available. I also wanted to point out with Yuna that Yuna has, if you guys pulled Yuna, she has both Imperil and a Deep Protect. So... She's going to be really good support for those light slash teams. And even if she can't really stay on uh, chain element, she or she can stay on element, but not on slash. She's going to be able to do really good just by imperiling. And maybe if you really need to, you can imperil again and stay on the light, on the light chain. Or maybe if she gets a turn before everyone else, she's going to be good. Or at the end, you know, she's going to be good to either start or end the chain. So... I think that's going to be really good, and I'm kind of looking forward to this raid. I definitely will max Rob on the Awakening, and I could really even max Thancred and get him to level 99, and that's probably going to be pretty good. I just don't have him ready quite yet. There's just been so much stuff going on. I kind of just have been getting Rob ready this whole time. I actually almost forgot about Osarel because I, I was using everyone else for the trials but now that trials is kind of done i think we i should be good on that all right so i think that's pretty much it on the video one other thing i just kind of thought of was for trials i did just finish getting enough materials for the plus five so let me go in here into the event summon and kind of show my lineup here i think i've I'm up to the last box, and I think I've gotten through tier five like two or three times, and I think I am just about at one more recipe or something like that than what I need to make the plus five. 
And like I said, I'm probably just going to make two plus fours and just call it a day on that. So this is my first Trials of Reckoning where I actually, no, actually that's kind of a lie. Uh, for Final Fantasy IV, I, I think I was able to complete those items, but they did give you like two plus twos and two plus threes. So they were very, very generous in terms of that. But when it came to the ribbon, I think I only made 32 of those and that was actually a real struggle. And I, I really, really tried hard on that one. But I believe that one's being repeated in the future, so in the future, I'm probably going to end up making maybe two plus fives or maybe three plus fours or something like that. Um, I think that is a very good evasion item, so, um, and I think anyone can equip it, so I think that's going to be useful to have. So definitely going to try to make a few of those if possible. Uh, so as you can see here, I still need to work on my white spirit sand. But I think that's something we can all get during the raid, so that may be something to focus on during the raid. And as people have been pointing out too, the Dark Void Crist is also another thing that's used in many items, so you may want to focus also on that during the raid. Alright, I think that should do it for me. Um, I don't really have anything else. But if you guys have any anything you want to say about the raid that I might have missed or any ideas of what characters you're going to use, please leave them down in the comments. And other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.